We humans like to use selective breeding to play around with various characteristics of domestic animals. Just look at the huge variety of dog breeds. To a certain extent, we breed for behaviour and productivity. Cats that meow to people, sheep that have twin lambs, beef and cattle that grow lots of muscle, and chickens that lay lots of eggs. But we're also fascinated by the way animals look, and we like to play with shapes and colours. If you go to a poultry show, you won't see many plain brown hens like the hybrids that are used to produce almost all of the eggs you buy in the supermarket. And you won't even see many showbirds that look much like their original ancestors, although the well summers and brown leghorns do resemble them a little. Rather, what you will see is a huge range of chickens in different shapes and colours, and with different patterns of colour. This video introduces the genetics of feather colour and pattern. Make sure you understand the basic genetics of chickens first. You can check out the playlist of my earlier videos about genetics. I'll put a link here and in the description below this video. All of the colours that we see in chickens feathers are caused by the interaction of two pigments, eumelanin and pheomelanin. You can think of eumelanin as a kind of dark brown or black, and pheomelanin as red. Animals and humans have these two pigments too. Pheomelanin is that pink or reddish colour that makes our lips look redder than our cheeks, and it's what gives the red colour to the hair of redheads. It's pheomelanin that makes the golden colour of a ginger cat's fur. And we can see the red pheomelanin in the red breast of chickens with the colouring sometimes called duckwing, like the brown leghorn or well summer. Eumelanin is related chemically to pheomelanin, but it's a slightly different molecule, and its colour is dark brown or black. It's eumelanin that determines our eye colour. It makes hair colour brown or black, and it's the black colour in fur or feathers. Apart from just looks, eumelanin has several functions. When our skin is exposed to the sun, our melanocytes produce extra melanin, which makes our skin darker. We talked a bit about the dilution effect of the blue gene in my video about the genetics of blue coloured chickens. The blue gene is actually an inhibitor gene which inhibits the production of eumelanin, so that the black colour is diluted to grey. The blue genes only work to make blue or splash if the feather would otherwise have the black eumelanin colour. The blue gene doesn't work on pheomelanin, only on eumelanin. The lavender gene is also a diluter gene but it can act on both eumelanin and pheomelanin. The melanocytes in the feathers still produce the pigments, but the lavender gene inhibits the transfer of the pigment granules to the feather structure. When the feather would otherwise have been black, a double dose of the recessive lavender gene dilutes the black eumelanin colour to lavender, which is a kind of grey. If the original pigment is pheomelanin, the lavender gene dilutes the basic buff brown to a pale straw or cream colour. Other genes can also have an effect on the black eumelanin in different ways that make patterns, either on each feather or on the bird as a whole. These are called restricted genes. A well-known restricted gene is the Columbian gene denoted as CO. This restricts the black eumelanin pigment to the hackle and tail feathers. When all the rest of the bird is white, the resulting Columbian pattern is what we see in a light Sussex like Myliza. The only places that show the black eumelanin colour are her tail and hackles. As I said, some restrictor genes work not on the chicken as a whole, 
but on each feather. The mottled gene restricts the eumelanin from being expressed on the tip of each feather. So each feather has a white tip. If the bird would otherwise have been black, then each feather is black with a white tip. So the overall effect is mottled, like my mottled hudan fling. The mottled gene is an autosomal recessive gene. So every chicken that looks mottled has two copies of the gene and mottling breeds true. The barring gene, Big B, causes the black eumelanin pigment to be restricted to stripes across the feather. The most well-known chicken with barred feathers is the barred Plymouth Rock, although my cuckoo leghorns also have the barring gene. The barring gene has its effect by turning the pigment depositing on and off again as the feather grows out from the chicken's skin. Leghorns are fast feathering chickens, so the stripes or bars on each feather are blurrier than the crisp stripes on a blood rock feather, although there are also other factors that come into play. The barring gene is particularly interesting because it's carried on the Z sex chromosome, so homozygous males have two copies of the bar gene and so look lighter than the barred females. Of course, females can only have one copy of the barred gene because they only have one Z chromosome. Check out my video about the genetics of chicken sex determination if you're not sure about that. And when you know that the barring gene is a restrictor gene that turns off the depositing of eumelanin, you understand that of course two copies of it lead to more white on the feathers of the roosters. And then there's lacing. When each feather has one colour in the centre, outlined by a rim of black or some other colour around the edge. But that's a bit more complicated, so perhaps that had better wait for the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching.